I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America and its allied Earth forces against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States of America and the orders of the officers appointed over me according to the regulations and uniform code of military justice. So help me God. Command sent down orders. We're shipping out again. We just got in. Mission briefs and 40 mics. Not even time to hit the showers. Let him send someone else. Lose it, Wang. The 47th never made it back from Syria. Losing him. He's fibrillating. Give me a heart needle. Uh, two milligrams. Fish beans. Stack. Let's get him up to war. Check it out. New meat. Look at them. They've got no idea. They look so young. Did we ever look that young? We must have that thousand meter stare. Yeah, look at the way they're looking at us. Like we know something. You're bad, private. Sir, I do, sir. You think you're mean, sir? The meanest. You think you're gonna kill some chigs, don't you? Sir, yes, sir. Look around, puke. What do you see? What do you see? I see life takers and heartbreakers, sir. You see blood. You see sweat. You see believers coming home in mummy sacks. Nathan, take it easy. You take a good look at those glad bags, boo. Cause some chig's gonna cut your cable, and you're gonna be seeing one. We've seen one from the inside out. What the Let him go. That kid's not just some rookie. He's Nathan's brother. We thought we were alone. We believed the universe was ours. Until one night in 2063, on an Earth colony six light years away, they struck. Now, we are at war. My name is Lieutenant Colonel T.C. McQueen. I'm an in vitro, a race of artificially gestated humans. I command a Marine Corps squadron, the 58th. They call us the Wild Cards. We fight when called, in space, on land, and at sea. To lose this war means more than defeat. To surrender is to never go home. All of us must rise to the call, above and beyond. Didn't he know his brother enlisted? He knew, but what were the chances of running into Neil in the middle of all this? God, my brother is not old enough to sign up. Neil. Shane Vanson, I met you before the war. Came home with your brother on leave. How could I forget? <laughs> this is Lieutenant Hawks, Lieutenant Danfus, and Lieutenant Wang. Welcome aboard, Neil. You got your bird legs? Yeah, but I'm glad to be back in standard gravity, you know? <laughs> Well, we got a mission briefing and a couple of mics, so we got to head out. It's good to see you.
What are you doing here? I came to explain. Uh, you can't. Mom and Dad weren't happy either, but they respect my decision. I told you to stay in college. The war might have been over by then. You joined? Yeah, I joined. I joined to become a colonial sentry. My chance to get to tell us. The war broke out, I had no choice. Well, I have a choice, and it's to fight. What the hell do you know about fighting? The Chigs are a dark-hearted enemy, Nathan. Uh, they'll stop short of nothing less than total annihilation. Look, it's, it's not about losing a way of life. It's about losing life. That sounds good and all, but when you're out here, it's got nothing to do with that. I wanted you to have this. Next touchdown wins. No, the game is to five. You're ahead four to one, Nathan. I don't even want to play when you get all mad. Next touchdown wins. Come on! on purpose. No, I didn't. It just... Slipped. You let me win. You always let me win. Well, what do you want from me? If I beat you, you get mad, and if I let you win, you get mad. If you're gonna win, just let me lose. Gentlemen, can you taste victory? Sir, yes, yes sir. How's it taste? Mm, it's good. good. Tell them who we are. The Force Recon. Highly motivated, truly dedicated, Robin, Sullivan, United States Marine Corps! Eichler, what are we here for? Kill, kill, kill! Miller, who do we kill? Chiggs, Chiggs, Chiggs! Donovan, how do we kill Chiggs? Swift, silent, deadly! West, who's the best? Fifth Force Recon, sir! What's with the Semper Psycho? I know the scoop on Herrick. He's with 5th Force Recon, 2nd Lieutenant, drafted right out of Dartmouth, honors graduate of OCS and TBS, military occupational specialty, infantry. Yeah, feels like one of those textbook shake and bakes. Gets command before he's even done his time in the thick. How can such a pogue get command when he's never even seen a chick? Seems more interested in getting his silver star than getting his men home in one piece. Situation! Enemy soldiers carrying assault weapons are dug in 50 clicks from our position. They are planning to interrupt our convoy supplies. Miller, what's our mission? Seek and destroy, sir! Surrounding terrain is triple canopy jungle. Enemy soldiers are dug in at unknown positions. West, what do we do? Call in artillery, sir! Artillery? Are you a cake boy, West? Sir, no, sir! You talk like one! Sir, yes, sir! We're out in the jungle staring down the barrel of an M590 to a battalion of bloodthirsty chigs. We don't know where they are. We don't know how many are out there. We don't have time to call in artillery. We gotta start blowing their heads off before they start blowing ours all over the damn jungle. Is that clear, West? Sir, yes, sir. I can't hear you. Stand sir, down, yes, West. Sir. This guy's a rock. Sir, yes, sir. He's Private West, commanding officer. It's not your place. I decide what you do when you do it. Mission briefs in the orientation room. Move out. Sir, yes, sir. This is his boot camp, West. This is the real thing. We're about to engage the enemy on tumultuous terrain. We don't have time for insubordinate, recalcitrant, maggot views. Lieutenant, give me your rifle. Don't you like me, Herrick? Yes, sir. Are you trying to get me killed? No, sir. What's the first rule of general rifle safety? Consider every weapon to be loaded until proven otherwise, sir. 
If you can read it, Herrick, why can't you execute it? An unloaded weapon always shoots the loudest. This one's a recon mission. Strictly intel gathering. You will be deployed to the planet Moors. You will be dropped behind enemy lines where you will remain undetected until extraction. Your mission is strictly observation and information gathering. You are not to engage the enemy unless under attack. You will take digital photographs, mark coordinates of enemy facilities, document any transport activity, including ammunition convoys and artillery batteries. The directives of this mission are not to leave this room. Sir, how can we be certain we're achieving our objectives if we don't know the greater plan? The greater plan isn't your concern, Lieutenant. The 14th, 19th, and 33rd squadrons will be deployed to the eastern region of Moors, the 58th to the north. Colonel, that leaves the 5-8 uncovered to the west. We don't have a choice. The 47th squadron was expected to be a part of this mission, sir. They didn't make it back from Ceres. Right now, there's a shortage of available men. Emerge satellite could provide the fifth position. No, I want eyes on the ground. Sir, I volunteer fifth force. Your team has an assignment, Lieutenant. In the rear with the gear. With all due respect, sir, you want eyes on the ground. We've got 10 to spare. Sir, fifth force isn't ready for this mission. So we're Marines. We're born ready. Lieutenant, this is a sensitive maneuver. One false step, and the entire mission could be compromised. Sir, if I may speak freely. Sit down, Private. Let him speak. Sir, on behalf of Lieutenant Herrick, he graduated from OCS and TBS with top honors. He's tough, he's smart, he's got impeccable instincts, and we'd follow him anywhere. I know I speak for all of us when I say we didn't come here to sit on our packs. We want to get into this war. Sit down, Private. All right, I'm going to allow Fifth Force to provide the fifth eye. However, I do so with the understanding that Fifth Force will be sent down strictly as a support element to the 5-8. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Don't be in such a hurry to die, Lieutenant. You'll get your chance. Dismissed. West. This is the Commodore's decision. Now, you've got a problem, and I know what it is. But I also know that your responsibility to this mission comes first. If you let your personal agenda influence your conduct as a Marine. You jeopardize yourself and every man in this unit. Like the Commodore said, this is a sensitive maneuver. Get in, do the job, get out. We're not looking for heroes. Yes, sir.
Designated coordinates for hide spots, 6492087 Falling behind me, call information. Move out! Where we dig in. Eric, you're digging in 30 meters west. Go, go, go! This fort, move out! Fresh legs. Level one, this is Alpha two. Our position is secured. Maybe we're losing it. There's a lot more to good command than digging a fast fox hole. Yeah, just chick jets on patrol. Wait a minute, I see something. Looks like a... like a Chig C3 tower. Roger one. I see it. Wang, get the ETC monitor. Pinpoint their position. Air Command can take them out on the next strike. I say we go out now. Blow that puppy sky high. Negative. We're here on recon, not to engage the enemy. We don't have to engage. We set a C670. Chigs will never know what hit it. Negative. That's not our mission. Our mission is to win this war. We blow that tower up, we probably take out communications in half the Bacchus region. Negative, Herrick. That's an order. Whoa. Well, Wes, what the hell are you doing? Alpha 2, we need a spare T-140 transistor. Roger that. Rendezvous in between. Send West. You heard him. First you tell me not to enlist, and now you're telling me what to do? Guy thinks he's John Wayne. Who? Look, I've seen his kind before, all right? Long gone, gung-ho, with nothing to back it up except a squad of men. He's my CO. Doesn't mean he knows what he's doing. Well, how do I know you know what you're doing? Uh, the only fight I've ever seen you in was with Craig McPherson when he asked Kylan to the winter dance. <sighs> look, Nathan, I, I may be a rookie, but one look around here... I can tell this ain't no winter dance. I've been through a lot, Neil. I've seen a lot. All right, Herrick's never even seen battle. He's got a lot to learn. Don't be his guinea pig. He'll learn it with your life, my life, and the life of every one of your buddies. You've been in the corps twice as long as here. Some girls quarterback in your team. She's ten times the Marine Herrick will ever be. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. Look, I'm trying to keep you from getting killed. Why can't you just let me lose? <laughs> Kick McPherson's ass, you know. <laughs> hey, mom could have kicked that doof. <laughs> mom could take on a whole chick division and send him packing. <laughs> you know, I. If anything, for us both to be home right now. Getting yelled at for coming in late. <laughs> Listen, bro. Eric's a good Marine. I'll be okay.
Nathan, if that had been any other Marine over there besides Neil, you would have never pulled that stunt with the radio. You would have come to me. Eric's trouble, Shane. You know that. Eric hasn't done anything wrong. I can't condemn him because you're afraid of losing your brother to him. He's a loose cannon. He'll get us all killed. This isn't about Eric. This is about you. You have frozen Neil in time. I know how it happens. I did it with my sisters. One of my sisters is married. I still look at her like she's 12. Neil's not a kid anymore. Look, brothers, sisters, they always see the differences in each other. They never realize that they came from the same place. Neil, he's loyal, dedicated, stubborn, a lot tougher than he looks. Oh, that's a description of me? Mm. <laughs> Neil's either gonna learn how to make it through, or he's not. You can't control what's gonna happen. You can't follow him through the whole war. Let him go. If I do, I might lose him. <laughs> if you don't, you're gonna lose him anyway. said what he did because he's worried about you. He's a control freak. Problem is, he doesn't trust you as a warrior. But he will. Rookies got to prove themselves. Go through a, a baptism before they're respected. You think you're alone in this? We all got the same problem. We all got to prove we can cut it. Until we do, 58 won't accept us as one of them. Nobody will. Yeah, and how are we supposed to prove anything, huh? We're in damn recon. All we get to do is avoid the enemy. You gotta be creative, Donovan. You all remember Dan Daly? He was a sergeant in World War I, the most brutal war ever, and he was the meanest devil dog in the valley. They called him the fightingest Marine they ever knew, and man, he deserved it. He single-handedly wiped out all those German machine gun nests. He led charges against the enemy, and always, every time, he'd beat the hell out of them. He'd go into battle yelling, come on, you sons of bitches, you want to live forever. He was awarded the Navy Cross, the Distinguished Service Cross, two Purple Hearts, the French Victory Medal with four clasps. Now, we all know he didn't get those medals sitting around in boxes. He earned them, thinking for himself, taking initiative. He got creative, and he got rewarded for it. Our chance to make a difference has arrived. It's time for us to take the initiative. Now, there's a Chig satellite tower out there. I say we take a C-670 and we blow the crap out of it. Sir, we were told not to leave our position. Told to do? The Marine Corps doesn't want robots. They want thinking men. Daily sure wasn't a robot. And look what happened. A hundred years later, they're still talking about it. We play our cards right a hundred years from now, they'll be talking about us. Come on, you sons of bitches. You wanna live forever? Target is acquired. Call the fifth. Have him establish the cipher link to triangulate and confirm its position. Alpha two. Engage ETC Cypher unit. Alpha 2. Come in, Alpha 2. I'm all just spawning. Well, where the hell'd they go?
This is it. Let's blow this baby. Sir, there's been no prior intelligence mission in this area. I know. We're it. We're just adding a little initiative. Donovan, Eichler, locate the control box. I'll attach a C-670. West, Miller, stay here. Keep an eye out. There's no control box. It's none over here either. It's gotta be electronics. Wait a minute. This thing isn't even operable, it's bogus. What? You know, it's a dummy, like those fake planes the British used during World War II to trick the Germans. Incoming! There's one coming down by the satellite tower. Who's in a far fight? Herrick. Her position is compromised. Get McQueen on the radio. Tell him we got a broken arrow. Tell him the fifth force is under heavy fire and we are no, no position to provide support. We need immediate extraction. Wild card to Queen 6. Wild card to Queen 6. Fifth force has engaged the enemies. Broken arrow. Repeat, broken arrow. Request immediate extraction. Repeat, immediate extraction. Have it pinpoint the location of the signal reception. Dispatch a squadron of SA-43s and a rescue APC for a bullseye extraction. Direct order. Chicks jumped us. We're not falling back till we get payback. There's no way they can hold that position. Eric, you are in violation of the directives of this mission. Get back here. I didn't seek engagement. I was fired upon. I can see them. There's only seven or eight of them. We can take them. All right. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Catch one. Transmission. Card, this is Queen 6. Broken arrow received. Air cover has been deployed. We'll reach your position in 40 mics. Request coordinates for rendezvous. Rendezvous at 629er, 70689er. North, northwest of Bullseye. Roger that. Herrick, air cover is going to be here in 40 mics. Herrick! Ammo check! Ammo check! Right, second. We've held them off, Lieutenant. It's our window to fall back. Forget hey. it, Wes. We can do this. We can take them. Sir, we only got about four clips per man. Then that's what we use. Uh, all right. He's now responding. Nathan, you know better. Air cover is on its way to these coordinates. Alpha 2, this is Bravo 1. Come in, Alpha 2. Why'd they stop firing? Probably reloading. Alpha 2, respond. Now! Damn! This is it, men. The baptism. 58 wants us to put our tail between our legs and run. I say we get up on that wall and fight. Hit these SOBs right between the running lights. Eric, don't even think about it. You want to charge them straight on? 
Neil, listen to me, man. Neil, do the right thing. Do the right thing. Sir, we're in violation of the mission. Am I good listening to him? Your brother's cowering a hundred yards back in a foxhole. We're the ones out here trying to make a difference. This ain't a democracy. I'm your commanding officer. We do this, we're heroes. 5-8, this is 5th Force. We're making a direct assault on the enemy. Listen, not just Neil, all of you, listen. You go over that wall, you're dead. You hear me? Don't go over that wall, you cowards. Right now, you've got no brother. Right now, we're your brothers. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. Listen, listen, Neil. The only thing that matters is your life, man. Your life and the life of your buddies. You go over that wall and you all die foolishly. Show them what you can be. Let's do it. What's your status? We're taking casualties. Eric's in. We're almost out of ammo. All right, listen, man. I need your position. Give me your position. Listen, Neil, I need your position. Give me your position. We're behind a wall. We're west of, west of the 3C tower. All right, all right, man, listen, just hold on. We're coming out to get you, okay? You read me? We're going out after you. All you got to do is hold your position. Just hold on, man. MSKs to Moors. Neil! 
Charge them straight on. Airstrikes should be here in five mics. What do we do for five mics? We make them think we got more guns than we do. Lay down cover and fire. We hit the chicks on their left flank and catch them on a the crossfire. Good. Then fifth force can fall back to a supplementary position. Sites. Well, Hawks and Foos are good to go. Danton and Wang, good to go. Ready? Fire! Yeah. <sighs> 
No. 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 Watch your hands, watch your hands.